As you wish. Good day, stranger. Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominel? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was? No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Azo murdered a child! For a complete failure! We should be hanging him right now for what he done! The dozens won't stand for it! There is no need. Master Azo recently passed the Shroud. And while the experiment failed, his work... Ah, our new delegate from House Dominel. What makes you say sabotage? The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? Exactly! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye and look what happens! You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. Very well. Tell us what you claim to have seen in Heritage Hill. Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this.
Anamancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's Anamancers, there's disaster! We all know what Widewind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it! Is it, though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter? We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing? It ain't ending. And it ain't ending, because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? Beasts. Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Barask? You must know, friend, that the Leaden Key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. No self-respecting member of the Dozens is gonna let these Animancers keep casting their black magics in the same districts where there's children being born! Uh, I don't know about all of this. You've made an... unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? Indeed. This land is foreign to you, unless I miss my guess. Your efforts on its behalf are to be commended. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. 
Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious. What would you do if you were in my position? Very well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. It is time we put it to rest. I want to thank the delegations for helping me collect my thoughts. And our new delegate, who, if nothing else, has made this final day a little more interesting. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. are both strong in their own way. I must be careful in my judgment. Forgive me, your grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? <laughs> no! Avenge the doom! No, no, wait! Stop this! At <laughs> I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Shall I end it for you? I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption.
I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. Prove it. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge, and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenbury Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself.
Please stop. I need to tell you something. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of Enemancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Animancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. By the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned the hooded figures in the machine, and I was sure you were on the trail of the leaden key. And I was correct, in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the leaden key was trying to stop Anamancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. And now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Hanamancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. That would be an honor.
You must gather your party before venturing forth. Thank you. 